Today I'll be testing out Photoshop's new generative upskill. This is an upscaler inside Photoshop that can upscale your images. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the upscaler against Topaz Photo AI and AI Art the Image Enhancer. So we can really see what is the difference between Photoshop's new upscaler and those other two popular tools. To use the upscaler, you need Photoshop beta because it's not on the original Photoshop yet. So make sure you download Photoshop beta inside the Adobe Creative Cloud. So let's jump right into Photoshop and start upscaling these images. All right, for the first image, I have this cheetah photo and it's a pretty small size. When I go to image and select image size, we can see the size of the image. It is 640 pixels by 480. You can also see it down here. So that's a really small image, but let's try to make it bigger. Let's go to image and then we have the generative upscale and this will upscale our image. We can select from two times or four times. Let's select four times to see how does this look on a bigger size like 2560 pixels. So that is four times the original size. And the only thing we can do here is click on upscale and let's see the result. It's gonna use Firefly to upscale this image. So it's basically using AI technology to upscale the image and to make it sharp, at least try to. And there it is, this is the upscaler. And here we have a separate layer for the upscaler. You can see we used Firefly to upscale this image. It's a four time upscale. When I disable this one, enable this one, I don't really see a pretty good result. If you noticed, it looks a bit blurry. It doesn't look good at all. So let's disable, enable it again. I don't see any difference from using a normal image upscaler. So this is not so good. Now let's go to Topaz Photo AI. And here I have the same image inside Topaz Photo AI 4. You can see it here. On the right side, we can click on autopilot and with autopilot, it's gonna give you some suggestions on how to make your image better. But for now, we just wanna upscale this image. In the upscaler, you can see we have four times our original size, just like we did in Photoshop. And let's see the before and after. This is the after, and look at that. Look at all those details. Before, you see all the blurriness, and after, you see all the details. In the menu, you can also change these settings, so you can select from different AI models, and the best way to check this is to just select one of these models, look at the results, and then pick the one you like and just swipe them from left to right. Now let's have a look at the AI Art the Image Announcer. Again, this is the same photo and I already loaded this up into AI Art the Image Announcer and then you can see the before and after. And look at that, look at those details. And now you can compare them to Photoshop and to Topaz Photo AI. This one clearly looks a bit sharper than the previous one, but this all depends on the model you select here. I'm not gonna go into details of these models. That is something you could do yourself or click on this question mark and then you see all the information. Let's go back into Photoshop and let's try out this leopard here. So again, if we look at the image size, it's a pretty small image. It's about 640 pixels in width and let's make this bigger. So let's go to generative upscale and select four times, then click on upscale and look at the result. And there it is, there is the four times upscaler using Firefly. To be honest, I'm not so impressed by this one. So let's try it out on Topaz Photo AI. All right, the same photo is loaded up in Topaz Photo AI and let's click on four times. Then simply use the slider to see the before and after and look at that, look at those details compared to Photoshop, this looks amazing. Again, you have to look at the AR model to define which one works best for you. But I think this one looks pretty nice. Let's also try AI Art the Image Enhancer. And here is the result of AI Art the Image Enhancer. Let's zoom in here so we can see this better before and after. And this one looks also pretty good. But you can make this one better if you use Topaz Processing. That way it's gonna process everything two times and it will look even sharper. If you look at this, this looks great. So that's pretty much it. Check the link in the description. There you can find all these tools that I used here and then you can try them out yourself. So thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.